Welcome everybody, this is Joni at Granny J Clay, and I just thought I would play with some clay today um, without really having anything in mind about what I want to do other than I knew I wanted to use uh, the souffle white, and I knew I wanted to use this, um, it's called Garden Glory. It's one of my texture sheets, um, and I'm going to use some chalk. Um, I'm just playing. I'm not... I don't know that I can really teach this because I'm just going to play. So if you want to see me play, you can see me play. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I have made recently just a whole bunch of stuff out of um, turquoise. Turquoise and pink and then, of course, some white uh, for my mother-in-law's upcoming um, homegoing celebration. And so I just thought I would deviate from that today and I would play with this and do a little something different. So let's get started. I rolled this out. Um, this was a little bit hard to uh, roll out today. It kind of wanted to be crumbly, but I've had it for a while and that's probably why. But I did roll it out in my processor on a two. So I finally ended up with the two and I'm going to roll it out a little bit more because I see that there are some little bit of lines from the processor. So um, it's good to always condition your clay, you know, a little bit before you play with it. Now see, I, I was going to lift that up and it, it wants to break on me. So I'm just going to push it back. I don't know that I'll use this whole piece, but it's a possibility. So what I'm going to do is come in here with one of my blades and then loosen it up and then it'll come off better. And then I want to also wipe this off a little bit. So what I'm going to do first, I think, what I want to do first is cut off areas. I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, this part right here is a little jagged and this and this. So I'm just going to go around here and take off so I don't waste it. Um, let's see. It goes into about right there. Okay. Because so I can reuse that for something else. Okay. Yeah, that cut wasn't so good, but that's all right. Don't need it to be, I guess. So let me move this out of the way. And I will just put that over here. Now what I want to do is um, I want to uh, take this Garden Glory and I want to ink it up. Um, well, not quite yet. I guess I'll do my... Yeah, I'm going to do my... Um, Pretty chalks first. I just put my chalks into this little compartment. So let's see what we can do with this. Um, um, it, as we look at this, I see a whole bunch of flowers. There are some leaves in it. Um, yeah, a few leaves, flowers. So, uh, I'm not going to try to get the green where I want the green for the leaves or anything like that. I'm just going to put several different colors on my clay. So let me move this up just a little bit more. What I don't want to do is to splatter on this right away. I'll move it up over here. And then you can watch me as I scrape my piles out. Let's see. Let's start with this pretty pink. And I'll just set that kind of off to the side. And all you do is you take a blade and you just scrape. You just scrape until you get enough of what you want. And I won't know until, whoop, that flew way over there. I won't know until I start uh, applying it to the clay exactly how much I want. So I'll start out with about this much of the pink. And I'm going to put it right over here so I know that was the pink that I used. And then I'm going to start with, um, this is kind of a pretty orange. So I'm going, to, I'm going to get some orange as well. I don't mind so much if, if they mix a little bit, but I'm trying not to do it right on top of the pink. Okay. bit more. 
<laughs> I might have to come back and do this scraping a little bit more, but we'll see. Okay, now I would like some yellow. And I think, let's see here. You can see it here. I've got a couple different yellows. I'm going to try this yellow down here. Okay. And maybe I'll come right here and do the yellow. I haven't scraped this one before. This, to me, this is a little bit more like a limey, lime color yellow. Sorry if you don't like that sound, if it gives you goosebumps or something, but... Okay, so that one. And let's see here. Sorry, I had to blow my nose quick. And then I am going to get this green over here. I have a couple of greens that you can see in here. Here's one, and they are kind of dirty on the outside, so sometimes you can just go ahead and take a, a rag or take something and just wipe it off before you start to scrape. That cleans it up pretty good. But you can see this is a darker green. I want a lighter green. So I'm going to go probably right here with that. I'm trying to leave an area where I can put my clay down. So, okay. little bit more. I call this spring green. I don't know what, what it really is called, but to me it's a spring green. I love using chalk. What I've found out with chalk is when you put it in the oven, it doesn't fade. It stays that same color. You know, sometimes um, different inks, different things like that will fade, but th this doesn't seem to. Okay, let's see. Let's get a little purple. I'll get this very light one. I think I've got it. Let's see. I've got these two. They're both pretty, but I'm going to take the lighter one. So maybe come. Hopefully you can still see me here. Try not to mix it too much with the green. I went to um, our th third eldest grandson's high school graduation the other day. I got so sunburned. We sat out side in a football stadium when they had their graduation ceremony and um, it was a beautiful day really it was a gorgeous day in the 70s so it was beautiful but still got quite sunburned try to protect myself a little bit I did wear some sunscreen but I wore that on my nose because I had to have something removed from my nose once due to uh, it what the doctor had called it precancerous. So I have to be careful about that. Okay. There's that one. Let's see. I wonder if that's enough for right. Well. I might use this one too. This kind of looks like a, it's almost peachy. Let's see what it looks like when I scrape it. I've used it before, so obviously I liked it. So it's kind of a shade of that orange, but it's, but they're different. So. And obviously you scrape like this because you want it um, in you know, little pieces. You don't want big chunks, so. Once in a while, you can see that a bigger chunk came off. So that's enough for that one right now. And I think we need a light, maybe this light blue, which is very turquoise looking. Each graduation we go to, it just seems it's harder and harder. We have four grandchildren, and now three of them have graduated. Th 
three boys, and the next one will be a girl, but she'll be, she will be a uh, junior in high school next year. So I'm gonna have a little time to wait. And let's see here. I think that's just, I'm gonna go with that for right now. And let me just, I use gloves all the time because uh, many of you know I get cracks on my fingers from working with clay because it's dry. And I will take my sweater off. I certainly don't need that on right now. I'm downstairs in our home and it, although it's garden level, it still gets coolish. Excuse me. And in warmer weather, that's great. I spend a lot of time down here. And then my husband will come down. If I'm down here in the evening, he'll come down and watch a ball game or something like that. Okay. So just remember now, we're playing. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I think what I'll do is, um, let's see, where is that other? I'm just going to get a little bit of this off so I don't, it wouldn't matter that much if I got my, I'm just looking over my white clay. I want to make sure it's smoothed out, smoothed out, okay. And maybe if I come up just a little bit more, we'll see how this goes. Now, all I'm going to do is put this in various areas on here. And in order to do that, let me see, what do I want to get? Um, I may just take this uh, paintbrush and try it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start with this pink. I'm just going to go like this. And I'm going to do that here, there, and everywhere on this. Bigger places. And then not so big. What I have to remember is not to blow on this because I'll blow all of that. So I'm going to pick it up, kind of slap it down a little bit. And it's got a little bit. That might be putting too much clay on it. Oh, okay. Did you see what I just did? I, I wiped it. And it kind of smeared, so I'm just going to incorporate it then. Just going to incorporate it like that. Let me make that one a little bit bigger too. Um, how about if we go maybe right here? I was thinking I'd use a, uh, a sponge. I have a, a makeup sponge. I could use that too. But And then I'll take some of this over here. I might need a little bit more. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I can't bring this. Up. Maybe I can push that just a little bit further. There we go. I want you to be able to see it. But I'll overlap with some of these other chalks. And um, we'll just see how that looks. Let's take... Uh, <laughs> let's do an orange. And I think I'm going to come with an orange down in this corner. Shake some of it off a little bit. Take some of it and move it over here. Now you're going to see some crumbles on here, and I will take care of that in a little bit, but let's see. Take some of this turquoise looking um, chalk. My husband's been working really hard on getting everything ready, um, as well as his two sisters and other brother, everything ready for his mom's service that's coming up here. We, we will leave next week to go to that. That's up in South Dakota. Both of us were born and raised in South Dakota. 
We love South Dakota. Even though we live in Kansas now, because that's where our grandkids are. We love South Dakota. Always will. It will always be home. Well, actually, heaven is our home, but our earthly home will always be in South Dakota, as we look at it. We've talked about that several times. Um, let's see. Let me get some. Yeah, I'll go down here. Brush it off here a little bit. I grew up in Aberdeen, South Dakota. We had so many blizzards up there. So much snow growing up. Oh, piles and piles of snow. Of course, everything seems bigger when you're a child. But we have pictures to prove it. It was really quite um, cold. Not nearly as cold as up in North Dakota. But it was pretty cold in, in South Dakota. Okay, take some of that off. Put a little bit more here. A little more right there. Get in a little bit. I'm one of those from back in the day where we walked to school, <laughs> which was about a half a mile from our house. I kind of got that all over, didn't I? Hang on, I'm going to pick it up carefully, and I'm just going to tip it over and kind of give it a pound on my desk. And a little blow. I don't know if that did anything, but I am going to brush through all of it when I'm done anyway. But I just wanted to do that right now. Okay. Let's go up here and get a little, get some purple. Um, I don't know if any of you in the wintertime uh, where you grew up had to put, had to dress really warm to walk to school. But we also... Um, once we had our socks on, we slipped our um, feet into a plastic bag in case any snow, turn this a little bit, in case any snow got into our boots, um, our plastic bag would keep our feet dry. And it worked. worked. <laughs> it worked really well. Let me bring it back up. Sorry, guys. I think I'm out of view here. It's nice of you to stop and play with me today. Um, so, yeah, those were tricks we did way back then. My mom worked. My dad worked. Um, my grandma lived with us. My mom's mother lived with us for a long time, for I think it was 11, 12 years. Anyway, um, she was always home when we came home from school, which was a real blessing. Um and she always had, she had this little, uh, what I call a divider beside her rocking chair. And in the divider, or she had two sliding doors on the divider. And it only went about, oh, I don't know, a third way up the wall. Um, my uncle made it. It was her son that made it for her. And she kept blackjack gum and dentine gum uh, in that divider and so we always knew when we got home we could have a little treat from grandma and I think that made her feel really special that you know we looked to her for our treat after school treats back then we always had our big dinner in the evening and grandma would always peel potatoes and put them in a a pot and just let them sit in water until my mom got home later um, anyway I really missed her when she passed away. I was in high school when she passed away. Let's see, what else am I going to try here? Um, I'm going to try some of this green. Bring it in here a little bit. It's, it's fun to play because you when you don't have a, really the vaguest idea what you're going to make, I mean, you might have some idea. It kind of frees you. <laughs> you can mess up if you want. Even if you don't want, you do mess up. It's okay. Okay. Grandma came from Germany. 
she and Grandpa came on a big boat through Ellis Island um, to be in the United States. I just can't imagine what they went through. You know, not knowing where they were really going to be and... Um, That was a big risky step for them back then, as it was for many, 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 many. I'll sneak this green in here and there. <clears throat> it's still splattering, you guys. Can you see that? But I don't really mind it. Um, once I get done and I brush over it, we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> it will be the background anyway. You will see what this looks like. I like this green. I like this green color. Okay. Did that one, that one. I did not do this one. I think I'll bring that one right there. Kind of blend it. Blend it in. And... Maybe some right there too. I always felt sorry for Grandma. She had, back then, she battled um, diabetes. And she had a very um, bad sore on her leg that she kept wrapped. Um, and way back then, they didn't do a whole lot for them. She did take insulin shots. My mom ended up having to give her those. But it was such a blessing to have Grandma. You know, I just didn't think anything of it back then, but we did have, at that point in time, five kids, and another child came along later after I was out of the house. But uh, we didn't have a very big house, but Grandma wanted to live with one of her daughters. My mom was one of two daughters, and so, and because Grandma lived in South Dakota and they farmed, and my mom lived in South Dakota after she got married, and not very far from where Mom or Grandma lived, uh, she came to live with us, um, which is totally understandable. If you have a daughter, you want to live with the daughter, especially if that particular daughter is from where you're from. And then things don't have to change quite, quite as much for you. But that had to be hard for Grandma to live in a house of that many kids. But I think it made her happy, too. So, okay. Now, I think what, oh, let's see here. How about right there? I might take a little bit right in here. Okay, I might get a little more of the pink up in here. Let me get a little bit darker over here. There we go. Pretty colors. <laughs> Pretty colors. I'm going to bring a little pink right down in here too. You can you can do this over over your other colors, so it's okay. It'll be interesting to see how it all turns out, right? This pink I'm really liking. Um, maybe I'll get a little bit more of the turquoise on the turquoise. Work it in a little bit more. And maybe right up in here. bit more green up here. And maybe down here a little bit more too. Extend it out a little bit more. And over here. It's kind of like paint, but not. 
um, using a little bit more yellow right there. Okay. Okay, I am happy with that so far. I'm going to carefully pick it up here. I'm going to take it to the garbage can, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to sweep through it with a larger brush. This brush. It's more like a paintbrush. And I'm just going to come down, 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 and then I'll turn it and I'll go this way to get it off. And I'm not going to get rid yet, get rid of... Um, my chalk that I have here. I'll get rid of this right down here. Because I might want to add more here or there after I rub it in. Okay. It doesn't matter if the chalk is on the back of this piece. Uh, once I cut out my pieces, uh, I usually add some... Uh, I'm going to brush it. I usually add some glitter into my resin, which is Deb from Clay Boutique. She has a video on that. That's where I learned how to do it. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to just take this and lightly, because I don't want to leave brush marks, over my garbage can. And I'm just rubbing it once, hitting it on the side of the garbage can so I don't take it too much further back over it in the same identical way that way. See how pretty that is? I think I like that. Um, and here and there you, you can see white, the white clay. It's not real clear, but it, it's there. And I like that too. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon me. So what I think I'll do now is I am going to move this up. I don't care if they mix. Just, I'll get to that a little bit later. Okay. And I'll put that there so you can see. And let's see here. Am I moving things? Probably I am probably doing it by pounding on the table. That's okay though. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up, turn it that way. I'm going to ink this up with black ink. And so I have uh, archival ink and it's black, jet black it says. So that's what I'm going to do. Actually, I just kind of rub it across. <coughs> I had used this before uh, several times, this uh, Garden Glory print. And so before I started filming, I just decided I would spray a little alcohol on it and clean it off a bit. So that's what I did. Looks pretty good. And now I'm just going to take it, bring this back here, kind of that way. And I don't know if I'll get the whole thing, but I'll get most of it anyway. Put it down like that. And then I'm just going to kind of tap all over it, just to make sure that it comes off on the clay. And even if it indents into the clay a little, I don't mind that either. So hopefully we've got it down here. Let, let's see what happened. Oh, isn't that lovely? Ah! Oh, that's pretty. That is so lovely. Oh, I really like that. Oh, that's pretty. That worked well. Okay, what I'm going to do is... Get rid of some of my chalks here. Get them out of the way. And get rid of the crumbles. 
so I have a place to work. Oh, I like that a lot. I'm sure you have texture sheets you could do the same with, but I was looking for flowers. You know, I'm kind of in that spring mode. <laughs> so put that there, and I'm going to just bring my Kleenex around here and just wipe it off. Oh, that is really pretty. Okay, now I need to... Sorry, my nose is so drippy. Um, I need to decide on some cutters that I want to use. Oh, that's up too far. Okay. Try to close up my chalk so I don't spill them. Okay. And I noticed that I got some ink on my hand, but I think it, it's dry already, so that's all right. So I'll leave that over there. Try to leave this out of my way, and I will clean that up in a little bit once I'm done. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm very happy with that. Okay, let me see. I'm going to get some of my cutters out here. put um, I've got big cutters hanging in a closet back here but I've also got several smaller color cutters here um, and let me just show you what I'm talking about do you see this little bin plastic bin it's all filled with my smaller or even maybe medium-sized cutters so that's what I'm going through I think I'll use that one and even that skinnier one and I'll use that for the earrings for that. Um, I, may use it. I may use it for both. We shall see. Got another size too if I wanted to make a smaller necklace. But I think I'll make it a little bit bigger. I like that. And, okay, this is another one of my favorite colors. Um, so I'll use that. This is another one. This one, I don't have any earring shapes to go with it. This one I do, but I'm not sure you can find it right at the moment. Let's see here. I can find it. Well, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, so you don't have to sit there and listen to me shuffle, <clears throat> is I'll cut a couple of them, and then I'll cut the other ones and uh, bake them and bring them back and show you how they turned out. Let's see, which one do I want to use first? I kind of like that. Try to use it up as much as I can. Uh, not waste any of this. I want to go there. Yeah, I want to go there. Okay. All right, I push it in there, and then I take my, I've got a little uh, acrylic block, and I push down it with that. Okay, and now let me just carefully pull it up. There's one piece. Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to get my tile ready. That's what I will put the raw clay on. And I don't drill in these. Um, I don't make holes until they are out of the oven. Oh, you know what, you guys? Sometime I am going to have to um, take you into my workroom back there and show you how I drill. Oh my goodness. That new drill that I got, or the it's actually a drill holder. Okay. You want to rub your finger ease, kind of carefully around the edges and get any f fuzzies off that you can. Um, of course, afterwards you can sand, but this is what I'm doing. I'm just placing it over here. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Put that there. <clears throat> and I want to bring this back up so that you can continue to see what I'm doing. Whoops, I'm sorry. I grabbed my the wire that's attached to my phone. 
which I'm filming on. So, okay. Well, let's get another one. How about if we do two of these that would match what I just did there? So, I think what I'll do is kind of put that up there. Now I want more than one, though. I want maybe here. I mean, I, I want more than one color in the earring. There's one, and turn this around, and we'll go that way with that one. Okay. There's one, and there's one, and I'm going to just rub the edges very carefully, very lightly. And place it over on my, my tile. All right, so far that's what I've got on my tile. I used to put a piece of uh, patty paper on my tile, but as they cooled, the paper crimped up and kind of made my pieces curve. Just putting it on plain old tile like this is very helpful. Yes, it may make the back sometimes of your piece shiny if you use a shiny tile, but I always cover my back in something else anyway, so that's not a big deal for me. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, my, they're pretty. Let's see. Um, I wonder if... I want to get as many colors into these as I can. So, and use the clay up wisely. Let's see if I'm on the clay. Yes, I think I'll just push it down right away with this. They're cutting pretty easily. And like I said, there's no earrings for that, but I can always make another shape that is an earring. It, it doesn't have to be identical to that shape, but okay. And you don't wanna um, rub off your chalk either. So there we go for that one. And let's see here. Mm-hmm. I think this would be this would be pretty with this. Let's see, maybe I can go this way. Yeah. Just want to get as much color on it as I can. That's good. I have to come up just a hair. Okay. That should do it. how that came out. That was pretty cool. Okay. Let's see. That is probably how I would have it. Well, no, maybe this way. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. Okay. Let's do, um, you know what? This is too much the same with that one. What I might do, let me see. I might get a different cutter. These are some of my newer cutters, these two are, and I just, I really like them. And I do have a smaller cutter for earrings that I could use for either one of these, so let me see. Oh gosh, that's pretty. Now is that going to leave me enough room? Yes, I think so. I'm going to push this over as far as I can, and I have to stand up to see if I have it on there I do okay <laughs> oh I like this. I like this oh I can just see wearing it with a white t-shirt or something you can dress it up or dress it down very pretty Okay, now, since I won't be using that one, let's just um, 
Let me see what I can get out of here. How far up do I have to go? Or over here or over here? I think I can go up there. I don't know if I'm going to get any purple, but I could add purple to it if I wanted to. This is small enough where I think I can just press it down. Okay. That's pretty. And let's see, should I come? What's in that? There's, yep, there's everything in that one. So what I might do is come here or, ooh, that's pretty. That would give me a little purple over there, mostly pink. Um, let's see, is that on? Is that on it? Okay. Or should I go up here and get? And I might get that. I might get that. I've got green, yellow, pink. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, that is so pretty. All right, let's put those over here. So far now, this is what we have. Okay. And now, I think what I'd like to do is, um, how many earrings? Okay, you don't have to always have a matching set. I know that. In fact, most people don't do that anymore. Uh, it's just too matchy-matchy. <laughs> but I like to make them matching anyway. I don't know. I don't know why. I just do. Okay, I wanted to get some smaller, maybe pieces out of here. But what I might do is, this is sometimes what I do. I take what's left... And I begin to put it together like that. Yep, okay. And um, let's see, maybe I'll come in with... And with this over here. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm just going to push them together lightly, but yet I am going to do it so they stick together. And then I'm going to pull this off of here. And I'm going to kind of push it into, let's get this one down first. Push it into that. It, it doesn't look exactly like the others, I know. But it's a way to use up what you have left. And I like to do that. I used to, um, you know, blob up whatever I had left and put it in a, uh, a container to keep it for some other time. And then it ends up just sitting there forever in the blobbed up burial plot. <laughs> okay, let's do that. And then let's just come alongside here and bring that in as best I can. Okay. And I might just bring this one down and around like this. Get that little one out of there. Bring this around. around. Okay. And push this back in this way. This back in that way. Get them together. Sometimes I use a backing sheet, but not always. Okay, now, like I said, this isn't going to look like the other ones at all. Okay, there we go. Now, if you wanted to come in and do just a little bit more with your chalk at this point, um, you could. Okay, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one in about right there too, right in the middle. I don't need to have, well, let's see here, get some of that pink in over there. 
and the orange I like too. So let's see here. What should we do? Turn it this way. Mm, I'm liking that one, I think, a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. Now this you have to be careful with when you transfer it because you've just pushed this clay together. It's not like it's glued together, you know. So what I'm going to do is loosen it first. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, look at that. It came off pretty well. And this one looks pretty good. It's staying together. Yeah. Now, like I said, you could come in if you wanted to. You could come in and... Um, let me move this up a little bit more in case you're not seeing it. Okay. And uh, touch it up with some of your chalk, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to leave this as it is. I like that one. Okay. So I will add this over here. I don't know that it really lost any of its, well, maybe a little of the brightness. I don't know. But I'm going to make it that way because... I will be adding something to the back to give it more stability later. Okay, so I still have some left. Now, what do I want to do? I think I'll just pull that apart, pull that in. I think I'll bring this up here. And I think I'll bring this around like this and like that. Okay. And I'm going to come in and make a couple of earrings, hopefully. There's one. And mm -hmm. let's see. Do I want up there? Do I want more down here, I think? Okay. And that might be all I want to pull out of this particular batch. But you see how you can do that? It doesn't need to match all the other things that you've made. Let me just move this over here so I can show you what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, here you go. I'm going to bring it back out. And then you can see if I don't bounce it. So there it is. Um, and I'll take it up and, and I will bake it. Once you put resin on it, th this set will look a little different than the others, but that's all right too. Um, let's see. I want to. Maybe I want to make use of all of it. How about if we just do that? Since we've got it, I got this little piece. I'm going to stick up in there, and that, and then I'm going to come around. I think like this, and push that in. And maybe I'll just push that one in right there. Okay. And again, it will not look like all the others. Okay. Here's a little tiny piece. I don't know if I'll use that down here or not. Or if I'll get reach it down there or not. Now this one I think could use a little touch up with some. Um, in fact, let me just pull this back out. And since I like this pink, I think that's what I'll use. And I think I'm just going to bring it in here. Dab, 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 dab. Even right there. brush this again a little bit but what I think I'd like is just a little bit more of this and let's just come in here I want it to be a little bit darker right in here and it it's probably going to overlap a lot of things but that's okay go with the flow is what I say 
Go with the flow. I used to get so uptight about doing things so exact and so right. Not so much anymore. Okay, that's pretty, but I want to highlight the green as well. Let me get this out of the way quick. And we'll see what we can do with a little bit of green. You notice how I'm pitching, pinching this? I should have used a smaller one with this, but a smaller paintbrush with this, but it'll work. Okay. All right. I'm not fooling around with this particular piece of clay. I am going to take it and um, over the garbage can and brush it a little bit. However, if I can get it picked up, it doesn't fall apart. No, it's good. So I'm just going to brush, brush, brush. This is what I'm ending up with. It's not as bright. I don't think it is anyway. It's not as bright as the other ones, but it's got color and color is always good. Okay, now with that little one, hmm, let's see, I can't do that. How about this one? That's too big, let me see. I'm going to get a smaller cutter back out of my plastic bins. Let's see if I can find something small. You're going to have to bear with me here. Oh, I found one. I'll use that. Okay. So I'm going to come here. I want to get as much color from all this as I can. So let's see. How about if I go? No, I'm going to go this way. Okay, poke it through, there we go, and then I think I'll come back this way. I'm trying to get as many as I can out of this. Let's see, that fell off something, I'm not sure what. It's okay, That that's all right as well. You want to come down a little bit further and see? Uh, let's see. Now I'm going to go this way, I think. Yep. Okay. There we go. And, I don't know, maybe I can get two more. What do you think? I think so. Let's see, point that up there. Am I on the clay there? Not really. Need to get on the clay. Okay. All right. That held together, didn't it? Pretty pretty well, anyway. Um, I, I got four. I like to do even numbers of pieces. Um, in fact, I'm just gonna push this together. Boy, we're really getting a lot of mileage out of this particular piece of clay, aren't we? And later, when they're baked, if you don't like it, you don't have to use it. You don't have to use it. No. And I'm going to put a little purple in this one. too and see what we can do with that um, because we've pushed so much together it's getting a little muddy it's getting a little muddy now and I think since it's just still up there I'm going to I'm just going to do this I don't know if we improved it anyway 
Nah, let's get a little more orange. Something a little bit brighter. Okay. Brighten those places up as best we can. And I'll brush it off a little. Oh yeah, that, that helps a little bit. Now let's see if if these hold together, shall we? Put this back. And um there's one. And oh, I think I want to go this way with it and get that green. Let's see. I don't know. I'm trying to use every speck of this clay as much as I can anyway. Um, okay. Look at that. And one thing about putting some resin on these after they're done, that one looks really muddy. Um, I'm just going to take this and took my finger and just rubbed it on there and see if that made any difference. I don't know if it did or not. I am done. Uh, two, four, six. That's, that's good. That's what I wanted. I wanted an even number in case I do use them for earrings. Or, you know, you can put them in something else that you make, who knows, or use them for earrings for these other pieces. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So far, so good. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and bake these now. Um, bring this over here. Make sure I have room for my little other earrings over there. I hate to move those because it's pieced together, so. I'm just moving these around to make sure I can get these on here. Oops, I don't want it to touch. But when you put resin on something like this, it just makes it pop. It's, I love resin. <laughs> I love resin. And I have found a new resin. And thanks to Deb at Clay Boutique, um, I have tried different resins. And I thought I had one that I liked, but it was too runny. It really was too runny. Now I am sure I'll show you what I use. It's what Deb uses. This is what it's called. J. Diction UV Resin. UV LED Hard Type. This is 100 grams. I just ordered 500 grams of it. I wanted to just try it. But it is great. It doesn't leave hardly any, um, let's see here, bubbles at all. In fact, I have yet to see them, so that, that's a good thing. But I just started using it, too, but I really see the difference already. I really like it. All right. I hope you enjoy just watching me play today. And uh, like I said, now I'm going to go pop these in the oven, and I will put a video out when I have completed them. You won't see it at the end of this video because this is long. So that's it for right now. God bless you all. See you soon.